Hello everyone, this is Chris back again for another uh, Fluid Dynamics discussion. This is a discussion on the Kawanda effect, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration to, to show you this effect in, in practice, or, or uh, in, 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 uh, qualitatively, uh, physically, um, we can observe the, the effect. It's the Kawanda effect. So here I have a candle, and I have a jar in front of it. And it's very important that the jar is rounded, and uh, we'll talk about why. Let's see if we can get this to work. All right, so what did I do? I blew on the jar here, and I think the intuition is that as I blow on this, that uh, the, the, the fluid that's coming out, the air that's coming out, should be deflected uh, by this jar. And certainly, if I was using something square, for example, my iPad, and I were to put that in front, and I were to blow, uh, obviously our intuition would be very correct about, well, which way would, would the air of the fluid go? certainly uh, would not uh, uh, go anywhere near the candle. However, the jar is a little different and the Kawanda effect explains why, explains what happens. So, i get those little guys out of the way here. So what I have here is I have a candle, have a jar in front of it, it's important that it's round, and the candle's lit. And what I do is I blow and fluid actually attaches itself to the jar. If we were to look at this from um, above or from on top, it looks something like this. Here's my jar. Here is my candle. And then as I blow on that jar, the Kawanda effect actually describes the tendency for a fluid to attach to a nearby surface. And in this case, it was attaching to the surface of this jar here and contouring around the jar. We'll contour around the jar and blow the candle out. And that is the Kawanda effect in action. Well, why or where is that important in respiratory therapy? Well, it's important in a couple of different, well, several, several areas. It's important because remember when I talked about laminar flow and how uh, the fluid flows a little, a little slower on, on the inside um, surface of, of the conduit. And obviously, some of that is because of the koan effect, that the fluid is actually wanting to attach itself. Another uh, implication, or potential implication, and it's kind of an interesting uh, case for study, is that an anesthetist had actually intubated a patient, going to surgery, intubated the patient, visualized the tube going through the cords, carbon dioxide, all that, and then went ahead and ventilated the patient and noticed that there was asymmetrical chest rise and fall. Um, in this case, I believe it was the right side of the chest, rising and falling. Well, they had, they had assumed that there was a right main stem intubation. So they pulled the two back a little bit, continued having asymmetrical chest rise and fall, went ahead and shot a chest x-ray. Uh, tube was you know, two, three centimeters above the carina. They still had good carbon dioxide, good saturations. Couldn't figure out what was going on until somebody had the bright idea. What they did was they just twisted the tube a little bit, they just turned it on its axis a little bit, and the asymmetrical chest rise resolved, and there was symmetrical chest rise and fall. And what apparently had happened was, here's my lungs, if you look into the carina itself, we'll enlarge this a little bit, what happened was the tube had maybe been dislodged just a little bit, or had been a little crooked, it was at the right depth, but it had been in a little crooked, and when they ventilated through that tube, the um, air, the, the gas, the fluid, had actually attached itself um, to the, the carina, or not the carina, but the, the, the right side of the wall, and it went down the right main stem bronchus first, and then as the right lung filled up, air then went ahead and um, kind of, as the pressure increased, air was diverted over into the left lung, and then the left lung filled up. So all they had to do, they didn't have to do anything other than just twist it and make the end of the tube um, midline, and then they had symmetrical chest rise and fall. So again, the Kawanda effect in action, and that really what is the Kawanda effect is a tendency for fluid to attach to a, a nearby surface. All right, thanks guys, take care.